Hello students. For this activity, for this gizmo, we're going to do the distance time graphs, the metric one. So this should be under your classes, but if it's not, you can just type this into the search over here and we'll get this gizmo and we'll click it here to launch it. So whenever we have any of these gizmos, it's always a good idea to go to the lesson info and you want to pick the student exploration sheet. You get PDF, Word, or even now we have Google Docs, right? If you have the PDF, you can use Kami or you can edit uh, the Google Doc. When you make a copy for yourself, you can put your answers right in there. So uh, this is where it tells you exactly what to do. It tells you how to warm up to get used to using the buttons. This is where your answers go and where your data goes. So for this one, we're gonna do activity A and then we'll scroll down and we'll also do activity B. Now, let's go back to our gizmo over here and I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. And the way that this, um, the way that this one works is we've got a stopwatch over here. And as soon as you hit this button, then your runner is going to run along this path as indicated on our distance versus time graph. And then this is resetting and puts them back over there. Now for this one, we've got uh, two data points and we can increase the data points all the way up to 10 different data points. And we can also change the position of the data points so that the slope of our line changes. So if we go way up like this, you can see that the runner moves quite quickly and then we'll reset. But if I bring this way down over here, so now the slope is much more shallow and we hit play, you can see it takes the runner quite a bit of time to get even to the 10 meter mark, right? We've got 10, 20, 30, 40 meters, and we've got 10, 20, 30, 40 meters here. So the place that he's running this surface matches our Y axis. Let's reset again. Now, the other thing that we can do is if we add in just a few more data points, we can drag these and we can change so that the slope is going to be different. And when we do something like this, we'll keep this one straight right over here, and we hit play, we're gonna see that this person is going to follow the motion as indicated by the graph. You can even go back and then forward, and then in this case, just standing still. So we're only gonna be doing runner one, so you don't need to worry about runner two for this one. Uh, you could add another runner on here, uh, but for this activity, we're just going to use runner one. So that is the gizmo. Make sure that you record all of your answers on your student exploration sheet. I'll see you in class.